In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of paint splatter effect um, that looks kind of three-dimensional. And so to start off, go ahead and open up a new image, doesn't matter what size. And um, you can use whatever background image you want to use, whatever kind of background design you want to use. But if you want to use the same, uh, do the same kind of thing as me, then get your gradient tool or your blend tool. And then get set your foreground color as a lighter color. And um, then I'm going to set my foreground color as white. And then set your background color as a darker version of that color. So I'm going to choose a grayish color. Then go down here to shape and select radial as your shape. And then just drag from about the center to out here to one of the, these corners. So about like that. And now you have your um, background done. Now just set your foreground color to black or whatever color you want your text to be and get your text tool. And let's just type in some text. Now you can position your text however you want. I'm just going to type my word separately. And I'm going to rotate my text just to make it look um, a little cooler, I guess, if it does make it look cooler. So you can go ahead and rotate it, whatever you want. And once you have your text situated, um, merge down all your text layers, and then make a new layer and set it under your text layer. Now grab your paintbrush tool. I'm going to leave a link in, in the description to some good splatter brushes you can use. I'm just going to be using one splatter brush. And I'm going to be choosing using um, be using a blue color. If you want the HTML notation, here it is, 0096FF. And just anywhere, whatever, wherever you want. Just let's put this paint splatter right there. Now what you'll need to do to make it look kind of three-dimensional, because obviously right now it looks extremely boring. It just looks like I used a brush behind some text, which is what I did. So it looks very flat and boring right now. So you can just um, duplicate that new layer and move it above the text layer. So simple as that. Just duplicate it and move it above the text layer. So now you should have a kind of sandwich, two splatter layers that look the same, and then a text layer in between. Now go ahead to your text layer, select your text layer, right click on it, and select alpha to selection again. Now go back to the top splatter layer, I'm sorry if this is kind of confusing, and then go to select, invert, and then just grab your eraser tool and erase any of that top layer stuff that is within that selection, and go to select, none. Now go back to your text layer and go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Um, set your X and Y offset um, numbers to zero and then you can adjust the blur radius however you want um, I'm gonna I would recommend unchecking allow resizing but that's just what I prefer and you can use the same settings as me or you can adjust them and select OK and now it you have this kind of three-dimensional splatter effect so I hope this helped, and um, I apologize if it was a little unclear, a little too complicated. Um, I do have a more beginner tutorial that I recorded, but it came out really long and kind of confusing, and I don't know if I will release it, but if you'd like to see it, um, it's about layers. Um, I explain layers in that tutorial, so if you'd like to see it, leave a comment below, and I will, I'll post it up. It's, I personally don't really like it. So I don't think you guys will, but if you would like to see it anyway, then leave a comment below.